Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back in another video. This is going to be a very short tutorial and essentially I'm going to be showing you how you can set up your own Bitcoin NFT wallet and essentially we're going to talk about Spar wallet. So make sure you watch this video to the end. We're going to talk about different variety of topics and also hit the like button because in next video I'm going to be creating a crash course on the Bitcoin NFTs and I'm going to be showing you how you can inscript your own content on the Bitcoin. Also, we're going to talk about collecting sats and covering different tools. The first step, just go to Google and search for the Spar wallet. So once you do that, make sure you click on the official link. Next, you need to click on download so once you do that you need to select your appropriate installer so whether you're using windows linux or max os in my case that's windows once you run the installer this should take a few seconds to finish once you run the application just go to the file and click new wallet and here you need to put your name for your wallet so let's say uh, you want to call the main click create new wallet and in here uh, you we need to change a few settings so in the policy type you just leave it like it is in the script type, you need to change from native segwit to taproot. And next step, you need to click new or imported software wallet. And next one, you need to change the mnemonic words from 24 to 12. Um, in here, just click on the generate new. It's going to generate the 12 seed phrase for you. Just make sure you save it somewhere in a secure place. So once you click it, just click confirm backup. In here, you will need to re-enter your words and click create key store. Next up, click import key store. So now we've got our wallet created and also encrypted. So let me give you the overview on different features. So in the first transaction tab, you can essentially see all your different incoming and outgoing transactions. In the send tab, you can essentially send your Bitcoin to different wallets. I wouldn't you recommend you guys sending your ports, your NFTs from this wallet yet because it doesn't support anything. You basically need to hold your NFTs on the wallet. In the receive tab, let's say you want to buy your NFT over the counter. Essentially what you can do, let's say you want to buy a punk. So what you do, you just label this receive address for your specific or specific NFT and make sure you once you get your new NFT that you want to buy, purchase from different collections or even from the same collections, but it's a different or different NFT. Make sure you create different receive address for your different orts. This is going to help you visualize your different orts and different NFTs that you have in your wallet so you don't spend it accidentally. But once you have that, you can essentially click get new address. And let's say you want to get another NFT. So, for example, there's a new upcoming collection called Shrooms. So what you can do, you can essentially um, create a new label called Shrooms and click get new address. In new addresses tab, you can essentially see we've got the addresses in here and we also have got the label. So we don't have any of these in here right now, so the value is none. But if you also go to UTXO, which is the unspent transaction outputs, you can also see your um, tab where you can track your NFTs that you have in here. So, for example, if you receive your NFT from the team, from the founder, and you got your rooms or punks or wherever, you can see the date. You can see also the output. You can go to ordinals.com, and this is essentially the block explorer for ordinals. So in Sparrow, you can just copy your output hash, and you can paste that in your ordinals.com, and it's going to view your NFT on chain that you have in your wallet, and also you can view it on the ordinals.com website and also you can see the labels that you assigned previously with your wallet and also the value and this is really important i mentioned that in my previous videos so make sure you use this wallet solely as the receiver don't try to buy any nfts from this wallet if you want to buy something just create another wallet um, different than this one so if you want to buy it just send bitcoin from different wallet not from that one because this wallet is only as the receiver because if you're going to send this um, nft with bitcoins you might accidentally spend your nfts and also your bitcoin so you're going to lose uh, your nft so let me show you how we can now export your wallet if the new wallet is going to come up with the old support and gui uh, interface you can essentially export this wallet and import your private keys to the new wallet that is going to support the old technology so if you go to the file and you click on the export wallet, so in here we've got different file types. So let's say you want this import to the Electrum wallet, but Electrum wallet doesn't support the old technology. So you wouldn't be doing this at least at this time. You also have the Electrum personal server. Also, we've got the output descriptor, which is the Bitcoin core node. So if you want to import this to the Bitcoin core, you can do that. We also have the Sparrow. So if you want to import your wallet to different Sparrow wallet, you can do this. And also we got the Spectre desktop. So it really depends on the new wallets that are going to come up in the future future what the file type they're gonna accept you can come back to the sparrow wallet and you can export it then so let's say you want to export this to the bitcoin core and you click on export file just we can save it on the desktop and we can just save it as it is and it's gonna come up with the file that is saved on our desktop so the important lesson in this video is essentially use this wallet as you're collecting your nft 
don't try to spend your nfts from this wallet and when the new wallet is going to be announced um, the wallets are being worked on at this moment and then you can import your private keys to the new wallet that is going to be supporting the old technology so make sure you smash the like button because in the next video i'll be showing you how you can install your bitcoin core how you can install your old wallet on the bitcoin core and also how you can inscript something and a few different things so that's pretty much it and i'll see you in the next one